Of weather coverage, we've really seen how smaller communities have had to deal with these rising floodwaters over the last 24 hours or so. Our live team coverage continues now with KCTV 5's Greg Payne, who's live for us in Plattsburgh. How's it look where you are, Greg? Yeah, Carol, and earlier on we were over in Amazonia and we were seeing a lot of flooded houses. Now here in Plattsburgh, we've seen a number of trees down, but we've also seen this. We saw the muddy conditions and some areas that are completely flooded out. Some of your local parks are just completely flooded out, but now you're starting to see a little bit of that water finally recede. While several areas in Plattsburgh got flooded out during this afternoon's storm, some decided to have fun. We were expecting to play mud football, but turns out it's too much of a puddle. <laughs> so we just went swimming. But just 40 miles up north in Amazonia, people are still trying to recover from Mother Nature's overnight downpour. The boat came up right here to the park, to the top of this porch. That's when rescue crews came to evacuate Mary Proctor and her family from their home flooded with water early this morning. Hey, we've been here since 90 and it's, it's gotten in the yard but never this deep. This is our bedroom and it, the floor in it is soaking wet. Walking around the house, Mary pointing out all the ruined things in the place she once called home. Everything in the cabinets down below are just soaked. But one thing she's forever grateful for is that all of her family made it out safe. That was the most important thing to us. Nobody got hurt. We're all still healthy. We just have to pick up and move on. And while her family made it out safe, unfortunately, the mayor of Amazonia has reported 54 year old Sean Brown wasn't so fortunate. This morning we had a guy pass away, had a heart attack, that he helped the sheriff all night, you know, with that, boating people out. But while the community mourns the loss of one of their own, they plan to work together, providing free meals for those impacted. I'll get you a napkin in a second. And helping pick up the many pieces scattered around, rebuilding the place they'll always call home. And that's the thing about being in small towns is people are always there to help you out and, and whatever your needs are. And even here in Plattsburgh, they have stepped up and worked together. Actually, the local law enforcement, they have been providing updates pretty much all throughout the day. And I also have to give a shout out to that same law, uh, law enforcement department, Plattsburgh. They actually helped me get my package online because the AT&T service was completely bad. So they've been helping out in all different types of ways, Carolyn. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's going to be a long night for those folks as well. Greg, thank you.